welcome to this tutorial on how to play Adrenaline by Love. This is a brand new song. There aren't any tabs out, so this is all me learning it by ear here. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. There are a lot of bar chords here, so if you're a beginner, beware of that. We're going to start out with the verse, the chorus, and then I'm going to teach you the riff that I played there at the beginning of the video. I'll teach you that at the end. So if you'd like to see that, just go ahead and skip ahead to the end. But for now, we'll be going over the chords for the verse and the chorus. They're the same chord progression. So we're going to start out here with a B major chord. So you're going to bar the second fret, fifth string down with your index finger. With your ring finger, you're going to bar the fourth fret, fourth string down. And we're going to pick the A, G, and B strings. And we're going to hold that for four counts. So it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, Four, then you pick it again. One, two, then we slide this whole shape down for a B flat, and you pick those same strings. Three, four. So putting those two things together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna slide all the way up to the sixth fret here. Bar those five strings with your index finger. Middle finger is going to be on the seventh fret of the B. Ring finger on the 8th fret of the D, pinky right under on the 8th fret of the G, and that's going to give us our E flat minor chord. You can play the A, G, and B strings there as well. We're going to hold this for 4. So putting all this together, we've got our B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, B flat, E minor, 2, 3, Four, and then we go to our G flat major. Three, four. So you can have your second fret barred entirely by your index finger, all six strings. Middle finger on the third fret of the G. Ring finger on the fourth fret of the A. Pinky right under on the fourth fret of the D. And you can pick your E string and the G and the B. And that's it. That's the chord progression for the verse. And the chord progression for the chorus is actually the same but there's some subtle timing differences that we'll go over here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and play through the verse twice here for you. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, slide down, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, to your G flat major, two, three, four, B, two, three, four, one, two, slide, three, four, up to your E flat minor, three, or to your G flat major. And that's it. So that's how the verse sounds. Thankfully the chord progression for the chorus is the exact same, but instead of um, having the same timing, it goes like this. Okay, so the same chord progressions, instead of staying on that B, for four counts, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. And that's the chorus. So they're the same chord progressions, just they switch up the timing a little bit on you. All right, so now you're probably wondering how to play this part. It's not too bad. I like to play it on the G string. You can play it on different positions on the fretboard here. But I like to start with my index finger on the third fret of the G. Play that note. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the fourth. Sorry, not the 2nd fret, the 4th fret of the G. And then your pinky goes on the 6th fret of the G string as well. And you pick that twice. Let it go. And let your middle finger go. So you're back to the 3rd fret. So that part sounds like this. Pick, add your middle finger, pick. Add your pinky, pick twice. Drop your pinky. Drop your middle finger. And that's it, so. You 
do that twice. And next we're gonna go to this second part of the riff that sounds like this. So for that part, you're gonna play your third fret on the G again, but now you're gonna have your middle finger on the fourth fret of the D and drop your index to the third fret of the D and then back to the fourth fret of the D. So. You do that twice and then there's a slight variation the third time you do it. So you do it again. And you go up to your first fret on the G string and back to your third fret. So all together that sounds like this. <coughs> And that riff together sounds like this. And that's it. So in this course, I've taught you the verse, the chorus, and then that riff. I went through it quickly. So if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.